In this short webinar, we're going to show you how to install AccuZip 6 properly on a new machine. Go ahead and insert your DVD into the computer, and if it doesn't automatically pop up, go ahead and browse to your DVD. And you'll notice that the DVD is titled AccuZip 6 DVD. Now on the DVD, you're going to see a setup file, and what I'd like you to do, if you're running a Windows 7 or Windows Vista, I'd like you to right click on the setup and choose run as administrator. It's very important. On other operating systems like XP, you can just simply double click on it. Now right now you can't see the screen, it's black, but you're going to get a prompt where it says user account control if you're running on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Go ahead and click yes. The installer will open and begin extracting the MSI. As soon as that process is completed, now we're able to click Next. And by default, the software is going to install, go ahead and click Accept or uh, if you want to read the license agreement and uh, go ahead and click Next again. At this point, we're going to go ahead and enter in your first and last name in your company name and then your account number. Your account number is always 10 digits long, all numeric. It's important to go ahead and just select this first option, which is anyone who uses this computer. Go ahead and click Next. And like I said, by default, the software installs into the Program Files folder. If you're on a 64-bit machine, it's going to install into the Program Files x86 folder in a folder called AccuZip 6 5.0. So let's leave everything at default and click Next. And now it's prompting us to choose the location of where we want the data files. And these are the read-only files that will be used to process your list through CAS. We'll leave it at default. We'll click Next. And then we'll click Install. Now the first installation process doesn't take that long. This is installing all of the Accu uh, files, DMM files, label lists, um, reports, and such. So this is pretty quick. This also installs the integrated PDF driver and the WinZip compression. The next step is to install the USPS database files. So leave that box checked and click Continue. The installer will automatically begin running the second installer, which is going to install the AMS data files with SweetLink. So go ahead and proceed through it by clicking Next, Install. Now this process will take longer because of the fact uh, that it's installing around 2 gigabytes worth of data. So what I'm going to do now is end this webinar and we'll pick up at the end. Okay, the installation of the AMS data files is finishing up. When this process is completed, you'll get this final screen. At this point, go ahead and click Finish. Okay, now that the software has been installed, if you're running on a Windows Vista or Windows 7 operating system, go ahead and perform one more step just to make sure that when you're opening the software that it has full privileges. So you're going to click on the C drive and then browse to where AccuZip was installed. In this situation, this is a 64-bit machine, so it's going to be inside the Program Files x86 folder, inside of the AccuZip 6 folder. And then I'm going to right click on the AccuZip 6 executable and choose Properties. When the Properties window appears, I'm going to click Compatibility and I'm going to make sure that the run this program as an administrator is checked. Go ahead and check it if it's not and click OK. That's it. You're ready to begin using AccuZip. So I'm going to close the Windows Explorer. I'm going to double click on AccuZip 6 
5.0. I'm going to go ahead and click yes so uh, I can get past the user account control that uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 will prompt you with. When the software opens for the first time, you're going to go ahead and click yes to activate the software. It'll ping the server, it'll activate the software, you'll click OK, and you're ready to go. So go ahead and click close. And the very first screen you're going to see is Open Create. And this is where you'll begin using AccuZip, and we'll show you how to do this in another webinar.